Wait a second. Wait, is this designed to catch the horizontal and stop that, that blade? Those are industrial strength rubber bungee cord type Type what pieces. Those, is happening? Those are anti-horizontal experimental approach. And all Megatron needs to do is catch, just once, catch, cat, cat How is this not an entanglement box. device, Ricky? Well, it's not an entanglement device as long as they don't get entangled. It's, it's this fine They're line. They're going to get entangled, Ricky. We'll find out. Robots fight. Here they go. Let's see it. Big. Oh. Ricky, There's he's your... cut through those straps. He cut through one. The other did exactly Look what you predicted. That. It's entangled, It's entangled. Ricky. Oh, my God. I called it. The first, We both called it, Luke. <laughs> the match has been paused. <laughs> the match has been paused. Now, poor Jim Haney's going to have to go in there and separate these two very dangerous robots. Now, look closely here. It cut through the first strap. The okay. second strap, it did break free. Yeah. I no, think... those straps are gone now. Yes. They are a non-factor for the rest of this fight. We always like to encourage bots that are pushing the rules and coming up with new and creative designs. The downside to encouraging that is that people will come up with bots that we could never envision, and we might not account for those in the rules. To try and make things as open as possible, we try to plan for a lot of hypotheticals, especially surrounding entanglement devices. Entanglement devices have a very controversial history in combat robotics. Uh, anything like a net or a fishing wire is very much frowned upon and illegal at most events, including here at Norwalk. Where we differentiate from other events, though, is that we allow for devices and materials that may act as entanglement systems, as long as they're not primarily intended to be entanglement systems. So if you have a piece of your bot that's made of a very soft rubber, and it just so happens to wrap around the opponent, that is quite okay. We even go as far as to allow for fabric-based bots, uh, such as if you wanted to make your bot out of blue jeans denim, it would probably wrap around a spinning weapon, bots. but that's totally allowed. I will add as an important note, though, on entanglement, that any weapon uh, damage caused to your bot by sucking in a part of your opponent in an entanglement situation is not considered. It's one of the few exceptions we give to damage caused during a match in the judging criteria. This is a Eight, major test seven, for Spartan six, facing five, off against the reigning four, Beetleweight three, champion of two, Lynx. One. Fight, robots fight. We see Johnny Supa starting off uh, backwards, trying to break the uh, the egg beater spinner of Lynx. It's it a strategy didn't work. That, yeah, was gonna. They tried it with Silent Spring during the finals last year. Didn't work then. Might work now. We'll find out. Lynx is just too fast to cross the box and uh, took it straight to Spartan. It's a bit of a surprise to see Lynx here at this competition. There were rumors, actually a direct, uh, a direct claim by the, the driver, Calvin, that they were going to retire Lynx, but Lynx is back. I spoke to Calvin this morning. He said, I am retiring Lynx. Oh, no, what? Yowch. What happened there? I don't know, but wow, Lynx is uh, not happy about it, and they are going to uh, do a full <laughs> barrage of impacts there. Just, what was that, four shots in a row, five shots in a row by Lynx. Oh, but Johnny is hanging in this fight, landing good hits on Lynx. Doesn't Lynx. look like Lynx's weapon is up and running right now, and that is how they self right when they are in this what? position. So this is not working out well, and that Whoa! is a tap out. What an upset that for Spartan. That is a huge upset for Johnny Supas and Spartan. Johnny is elated. Look at this guy. He is so happy. Wow. Wow. That was, that was not what anybody expected. This is like an all-star lineup outside of <laughs> speaking, page number four. I, speaking I of see, taking my I breath see away. A, uh, a disturbing number of butane cans. <laughs> that are strapped to the top of robots. Oh no. That's what we like to call ablative armor. That are tied to the back of robots. All right, can I do this countdown? Yeah. Oh, I would love to. Means. Go for it, All Ricky. right, uh, ladies and, and beetles and everything in between, let's go in five, four, three, two, one. Fight, robots, fight! 
I yes. see some fire. Oh, boy. Yes. I, I want to see at least one explosion, explosion Ricky. <laughs> Exploded like my thumb bones moments ago. <laughs> Ripperoni, really the thing to explode things in the arena right now. Yeah. So close. It's got a little bit of a tactical advantage right now. Butane rolling around like on a oh, whoa, nice big fireball. Flight. Incredible. I want to see one of these butane tanks get pierced. What do you say? I want to see Mixed tape is now pierced. on its head. No, Whopper! Whoa! That's why we're all here. Amazing. Oh, and the fire in the corner. Still going. Incredible. Oh, here we go yeah, with the replay. Let's see this replay. This here might be go. the biggest explosion we've ever seen here in Norwalk. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I don't think uh, anyone has ever uh, oh. deliberately. Oh, here we go. Here we oh. go. Look at that. Wow! Wow, opening up a portal to hell there. That's incredible. You would expect, like, Nick Cage to walk out of, like, a blast <laughs> that big. Very exciting. Loading into Cage 2, we've got our first look at our Brazilians. This is Wasabi. Fight, robots, fight. Whoa. Oh, good. Speed right out of the box from Wreckfest. Oh, and Wasabi popping Wreckfest in the air. Force is already gone. Incredible. The left fork on Wreckfest is gone. Tamaki is absolutely bringing it. Super aggressive driving, like we always see from any team from Brazil. Wow. Regardless of the competition, Wasabi is staying absolutely planted to the floor. Dominant performance from the first fight of the day from AGVS. An absolutely suffocating drive style. Oh! Oh no! Oh! Uh, able there to gyro go. off that ledge. Incredible. Chris, I'm in love with this robot. It's really, really good, Luke. Wow! All right, the Brazilians are back with a loco. Fight, robots! This fight. is a huge oh. test for a loco. And that first exchange set. Wow! Ali walk into the lights. Oh! oh! A loco finding the low oh. ground here against Polywog. Oh my goodness. There are no forks in this fight. This is straight weapon on weapon. Wow! The Brazilians getting under David Jin. This is a battle. It is it is insane. I mean, like, I usually see David Jin oh my driving goodness. like this. There goes part of that. That wheel housing on the left side of Polywog. Oh, kicking him up against the wall. Incredible. That right side armor package on uh, Polywog is just getting dragged around. Wow. Incredible. Huge pops in the air for Polywog on a loco. Holy cow. Coming up on 45 seconds left in this match. Clearly one of the best matches we've seen today. This is a fight for the highlight reel, absolutely. And you can see part of the uh, the armor getting peeled away on a loco. 30 seconds left in this fight. Oh, wow. David Jin just staying planted to the floor. He's the picture of patience here. Dare, dare I say, do we go more time here, Luke? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, this is... All right, and Aloko will, uh, will escape the countdown here with two seconds left in the fight. Polywog landing one last hit. Wow! Incredible. Six, oh my gosh. Five, 
four. Very excited. Chris. Everything's Two. been a rumor up to Chris. this point. Fight, robot. Chris. Fight. Yes! Oh my God! Wow! This is the biggest flame we've ever seen in the Beetle Wave boxes, and Calvin wow. Eva is bringing it. Lock up your penguins! Wow! Look at this thing! Incredible. Oh man, I feel like I'm getting a tan over here. <laughs> oh my god! Wow! wow! Werbo's on fire! Oh! <laughs> Amazing! Uh, okay. Calvin Eva running a giant butane tank in there. If you wonder why mixtape is so long, it's. Oh no! Wow! Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, wow! Oh! <laughs> oh, this is pure delight, oh, Chris. I've, ne I've never seen anything like that. I've never seen anything like that. All right, Wormhole looks to be on fire. Here we go. All right, that's knockout. a knockout. Calvin Eva, knockout. wow. Amazing. He brought 30 pound fire to the three pound box, Chris. Ha, 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 ha.